to the world, the Lord has come. We will rejoice in his birth. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are happy and grateful that you are able to join us on this most wonderful night as we celebrate the birth of the Christ child. We are so grateful and thank you for joining us, both in person and online. A few announcements, and most of the worship is being projected on the screen, but the parts that are not projected, you will find that in your red hymnal that should be in front of you in the pew. So please use that hymnal when that time gets here. And just be aware of the page numbers and hymn numbers. Sometimes that can be confusing, so please be aware of that. And because of the COVID and for our safety of all, we ask that you please continue to keep your mask on during the worship service. Because of the COVID and safety, we are doing a few things differently. You may notice that at the back of our, as you enter the building, we have our offering plate there. And if you so desire to contribute to the ministry of Redeemer, you can do so by placing your offering at the back in the offering plate here. And for communion, all are invited and encouraged to participate. I'll ask that you, as you come forward, you open your hands and then you will be given a wafer and then you will have your grape juice or uh, wine. And the grape juice is already pre poured in the chalice in the wine glasses. Again, welcome and thank you for being here as we continue to worship Christ's child. As we remind ourselves tonight again, as a community of faith, we worship the triune God. We are called to love and serve all of God's people and creation through our word and deed. Let us be bare hearts as we continue to worship. God, 
gave to us the source of Christmas joy. A star shone on a miracle, the risen birth of a boy. He was born both God and man, a savior for us all. The way to get to our heavenly home, if we would hear his call. So as we shout and step and laugh and enjoy the Christmas season, let's keep in mind the sacred truth, Jesus is the reason. Let us continue with the Christmas proclamation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Behold, I bring good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
you made this holy light shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here and earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence, and in the last day, wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Christmas is for giving and for showing that we care, for honoring the Christ child with the loving gifts we share. journey to Bethlehem. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child.
in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them.
Christ bring you hope and joy, and may the peace of Christ be yours. May Jesus, the Lord, the miracle of God, fill your heart with Christmas love. May you hear the songs of the angels this morning. May you feel the joy that Jesus Christ is born. May the beauty of Christ surround you today. May you find joy this Christmas day. May you thank the Lord for the need to save. May you find hope this Christmas day. May the peace of Christ bring joy with no end. May you feel the love of family and friends. May the wonder of Christ, of Christmas, surround you today. May you feel peace this Christmas day. May you share this day with our Jesus in prayer. May you share this day and show all you care. May you gather together with loved ones this day. May you find Christ. invite you to please join me as we confess our common faith using the words of the Apostles Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, suffer on the conscious of heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Indian of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of Amen. Joining our voices with the heavenly host and Christians throughout time and space, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Love proclaims that a Savior has been born to us. Inspire your church throughout the world to proclaim the good news of Jesus' birth to all who seek salvation, hope, and new life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. prayer. Love whispers to a weary world that the time for rest and restoration has come. Maintain healthy cycles of wake and sleep for all creatures, where light pollution disrupts natural rhythms, encourage new practices. Merciful God, receive our prayer. prayer. Love cries to a worn world that the time for peace is at hand. Receive our prayer. Love sings through the wails of a newborn baby. Respond to all who cry out in pain, despair, or need this night, especially Lois Hirschberger, Winnie Ferguson, Patty Paul, Beth Connolly, Linda Bartleson, Lynn Lepo, Danny Vile, Marty Danielson, David Erdman, Elizabeth Rhinus, Don Farnham, Jim Rhinus, Joanne Mulcaney, Denise Robinson, Judy Lamb, Jeff Paulson, Eileen Kirsten, Donald Robinson, John Schwenk, Pat Gallagher, Valerie Mihalik, Dee Grover, 
Anne Marie Winter, Elizabeth Mihalik, and the family of Effie Schaefer on her passing, and all those we name aloud or in our hearts now. Dave, Chris, Mike, and Andy. Bring comfort to those for whom separation, grief, or loss makes the Christmas season especially difficult. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Love murmurs words of comfort to a newborn child and exhausted parents. Bless new and expected parents or caregivers, especially those who are alone or afraid this night. Pour out your love upon families of every kind. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God's ever-present love is proclaimed through the faithful who came before us. And so we give you thanks for Mary, John the Baptizer, Elizabeth his mother, Joseph the Dreamer, and all who point toward your love. Merciful God. Rejoicing in your word made flesh among us, we commend these prayers to you, confident of your grace and love, made known to us in Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. A reminder again, thank you for your generosity and for your sharing of the ministry to your finances. If you so desire at the end of the service, there is an offering kit at the back that you would like to contribute to the ministry.
pray. Good and loving God, we rejoice in the birth of Jesus, who came among the poor to bring the riches of your grace. Bless the gifts we offer this night, and let them be a blessing for others. With the trees of the field, with all the earth and heaven, we shout for joy at the coming of your Son. Amen. Let us continue now with the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. In great love you send to us Jesus, your Son, who reach out to heal the sick and the suffering, who preach good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus, he, he took bread and he gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. My dear brothers and sisters, all are invited to participate in Holy Communion. I ask that you come forward. Please open your hands so I can give you the wafer. For those who prefer a grape juice, it will be pre-filled in our cups. So please do that. The usher will direct you to come forward, please.
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Great and gracious God, we thank you that in this holy meal, the true light has come to dwell in us. As we return into the world you love, may we take to all the people the good news of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we invite you to please stand as you're able, turn on your flashlight, hold it up so that light can shine for all to see. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world.
please rejoice in Christ our Savior. Thanks be to God.